Hey YouTube, um, I put up a short video yesterday. We, we hit 100 uh, subscribers, which, you know, a lot of these channels have lots of lots of subscribers. And uh, I just started this as a fun thing. Uh, I was watching videos and really enjoying it. And I was like, eh, you know, we've got a little hobby farm ourselves. So we thought we'd make uh, a couple videos and have some fun with it. And uh, 100 subscribers to me is, is, is a big accomplishment. So um, I appreciate that. I really do. But uh, I thought I'd make a video today. It's been a while. Uh, I've just been making sh some short videos, which has been fun. Um, but we'll see about making one today. It's going to be a short video. Uh, all we're doing today is I'm going to... Uh, I had the, the gator on the, the trailer yesterday. Uh, went over to Dad's. We were driving around just having some fun, taking the kids through the woods. But uh, today I'm going to take the gator off. Uh, we're going to park it, and then I'm going to load up a few hay bales, take it over, and then... I'm going to show you guys just a little project, well, big project that uh, Dad and I are going to be working on here coming up this uh, spring and summer. Um, we're fencing off a, another section of pasture that was pretty bad before and uh, getting it all cleaned up, and I'll show you guys that too. But uh, yeah, uh, let's get this unloaded. I'll load some hay bales and then we'll go over there. Today we're going to be using the Case International 395. Uh, you guys have seen me use this one before, um, but uh, it's a smaller tractor, but it handles these uh, these bigger uh, round bales uh, pretty pretty decent, uh, especially when it's warm like this. It's actually a beautiful day. It's in the 70s today, but uh, getting some stuff done before I have to go into into night shift work tonight, which sucks, but you know I have to do it. Um, but yeah, you guys have seen me use this before. It has the uh, the round bale uh, attachment onto the bucket, uh, which we like because obviously we can still use the bucket and it's just a quick, easy on and off thing. Uh, it just slides onto the bucket here and it's got a big bracket underneath to keep it from tilting forward and then also it's got this come along with the chain hooked to the top and tighten everything together so whenever you stab a, a round bale it, uh, it uh, doesn't move and uh, gets the job done. But anyways, uh, let me load up about three of these uh, round bales over here, and uh, we'll go over to Dad and take uh, Dad's house and take a look and see what we got going on. Oh, my God. 
this is probably one thing I haven't showed you guys yet. Um, this is a seed spreader. Um, we have a field right behind my house that uh, we got planted in wheat this year. And uh, we had a local farmer plant it. But uh, we uh, ended up getting some clover. And one of these last uh, freezes that we had, we went through and broadcasted clover through there. And uh, all it is is you kind of fill up that hopper with uh, seed. And then this uh, goes right to your PTO, which spins uh, uh, this plate here. And as it drops out through the holes down to the bottom, and this just sits there and spins and broadcasts out the, the, uh, the seed, whatever seed you're going to put in there. It's a pretty easy concept. Um, it's a three-point hitch, so uh, you can raise and lower with uh, uh, your up and down in the back uh, off your three-point. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it's a pretty easy concept and pretty neat. I'm going to get this hay uh, over to Dad's, and uh, I'll show you the little project we got going on over there. And... Uh, then I'll get these unloaded and call it a day for now until I have to go to work tonight. But, uh, uh, yeah, let's take it on over there. I did want to mention since we did hit that 100 subscriber milestone i know it is like i said it's a small milestone but uh to me it's something a little special so uh for thanks to you guys i'm gonna uh i'm gonna have my wife pick out a random number on uh it can't be a big number because we don't have too many subscribers but uh i'm gonna have you guys comment down below if uh if you like this video just you know say hey say whatever you want to say in the comment below and i'll have her pick a random uh number uh, like i said it won't be a big number so hurry up and make your first uh, comments maybe you never know and uh, i'll i'll comment back and try to get your email address and send you guys a uh a t-shirt uh I, just a little thanks for watching our videos and uh keeping us going uh, I, I i have a lot of fun making these so uh yeah just put a comment below Win yourself a t-shirt. Some of you have seen this tractor before also. This is the International 1086 that we're going to use to unload this trailer. Uh, we're actually going to throw one out to them and uh, let them munch on it for a little bit and the other two we're just going to put all off the storage. Dad and I switched for a minute. Uh, we're going to go feed this round bale. He's going to go open the gate for me and uh, we'll get these little guys fed over on the side. We found it best if you come to one side and you cut all the twine off and then go to the other side and you can just pull all the strings out. It makes things easier to uh, to dump the bale in the round, uh, round feeder. And uh, that way you don't have to worry about them eating all the strings and everything. So we're going to do that now and then get it out there.
protective over there, hey. Also, I want to do a shout out to my brother's company, uh, HC Remodeling. Uh, they just recently started uh, renting out equipment. He's got a couple of bobcats, color, a couple of uh, dump trailers, uh, trailers that you can rent, all sorts of different uh, uh, attachments to the bobcats, different tools that you can use, uh, mixers, um, a whole bunch of different things, log splitters, everything like that. But anyways, uh, look him up on Facebook, HC Remodeling like his page uh, I know they've got giveaways all the time uh, whenever you like their stuff and share it and uh, rent some equipment from them if you're up uh, towards the Jerseyville Illinois uh, area I'm sure they'll appreciate your business I actually have a bunch of loose hay right off the back of the um, the trailer it's gonna make quick use of this uh, grapple on the front of this thing just gonna grab it throw across the fence and we're done Anyways, that's all done. Uh, all the hay's cleaned up, uh, put away for now. Uh, I'll show you this little project and then uh, let you guys go. And uh, hopefully enjoy this beautiful day if you're from the Midwest. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. We don't get these very often this time of year. But uh, this has been a pretty pretty nice end of the uh, winter time in the early spring. Hopefully it stays this way, right? Anyways, this right here is our project we're gonna be working on. Uh, this used to be an old uh, raggedy fence line right through here all the way down there's a pond over there it goes across the pond and uh, on the top of that dam and then attaches to the field that they are currently in now so what we're gonna do on the back side of that field we're gonna have a fence line go through the woods down on the bottom and there's a creek on the other side of the dam that goes to the woods that never freezes on us we've never had that freeze uh, with the cold weather we've had and then bring it back around following that wood line and coming all the way back into here. Uh, we've got a lot of work ahead of us, so stay tuned, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see some of that. Uh, I'll try to get some videos, if not some short videos on it, uh, what we're up to. So yeah, this, uh, this field here in the very, very back is one of our hay fields that uh, we're just gonna let cows, uh, it'll give us the ability to get more cows since uh, we're kind of split between my family, or my farm and my dad's farm which is kind of our family farm. Uh, we've got a bunch of relatives that live here and we rent out a whole bunch of land to the local farmer who does a bunch of it in crops. And we work with him hand in hand. He's helped us get some alfalfa and everything up front. But uh, anyways, that's what we're working on. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the video if you like these. Don't forget a couple things. Check out my brother's page, HC Remodeling on Facebook. And definitely like his page if you're from this area. Uh, rent some equipment from him. That would help out a local business. I know he would much appreciate it. Also, make sure you put a comment down below to be able to win that Hefner, uh, Hefner Farm shirt. And uh, for that 100 subscribers, we kind of enjoy it. We kind of have fun. And uh, until next time, thanks again.